Now in beauty, Trudy is here with the latest in foundations and primers and her top tips to perfecting the best results. Morning Trudy. Good morning. Uh, so what's on trend foundation wise at the moment? It's kind of exciting actually. A few years ago matte foundation was all the rage but it made us look terrible. Oh, it's it's a... really Aging. Flat yeah. and aging. So now we've got this raft of long lasting matte foundations that are also luminous. I mean, it's actually quite clever technology. Matte and luminous? Yeah, they are. They're long lasting, which I love. So you can put them on in the morning and you're done for the day. That's but me. they don't give that flat, um, almost dull appearance that to your skin. That cakey look. So, yeah. so, how do you go about choosing the right one? I think it's trial and error with foundation. I mean, obviously, colour is the most important thing because if the colour's not right, you look strange. Mm. Um, I don't like putting makeup on my neck and never do. I think you've got to have a foundation that's seamless. If anything, just a touch of bronzer on the neck or a touch of um, the tinted moisturiser mm. or something like that. So colour is important. I mean, if your skin is very dry, then you wouldn't go for something that's got a, an oil-controlling shine sort of aspect to it. You'd go with something that's more nourishing. And the same with shine. You wouldn't go with anything too nourishing. I think be guided by your age a little bit too. I think that's really important. You got the, what was your tip for trying out colours on foundation again? You had a good one, I remember. Oh, I always try. If you can, try it on your face. If not, on the inside of your finger. You know, your little pad in your finger. Yeah. Um, you can try it on your neck because often your neck is lighter than your face or darker than your face, depending on whether you wear a good sunscreen or not. Um, and. Down the panel of the face, you know, the T-zone really is where you wear a foundation. So if you can really try it on your face, it's the most important thing. Excellent. So what's the best application tips then? I think less is more with foundation. You know, I'm a real fan of prepping your skin with a primer. And there are so many primers, and we're going to talk about them soon, that actually um, add add a boost of radiance, they take away the shine if you've got that, they can f really fill open pores. So you don't have to be heavy with foundation. So actually stand back from the mirror when you're putting on your foundation, look at your skin and only really cover what bugs you. Don't wear a mask of foundation or a blanket cover. Mm. I mean obviously under these studio lights we're probably wearing more foundation than we would normally wear. Wearing more everything that I'd ever wear. That's right because you need to but in real daylight you actually don't need to be too yeah. heavy. Yeah, I go outside and it's like ooh. And the foundation. So you've fine. done a video for us, should we have a through this I've done a few videos, but through. this is a good one with my team. So we're all different ages and we're all using the Healthy Skin Max Factor Foundation, the Healthy Skin Harmony, and we're all we're doing a whole makeup actually. And, and this is great because you can see that you can put makeup on straight after applying the foundation and it looks super natural. We're all looking in our most natural form there with no makeup on. <laughs> so fingers, beautiful. Um, a foundation brush is great for blending, especially in that T-zone area across, across the face. Um, not so much around the cheeks. And this is Sarah, my beauty director, putting it on, a little dab on, you know, each area of the face, and then blending with a kabuki brush, which is a little bit like a blush brush, and that gives you a really beautiful buffed finish to your look, to your oh, makeup look. Oh, you make it all look so easy and nice. This and is just smear something on with oh, my fingers. this is just how much fun we have at Beauty EQ. Look at that. <laughs> your life <laughs> but looks I mean, we're all. It, well, it's, the thing is that we're all different ages, we all have different skin tones, and we can have one foundation that sort of fits us all, really. So what have you bought into today? So I've bought in a really good range. I can open price, them all up, can't yeah, good. price range. Um, this is the latest from Revlon um, and it's Instafix foundation. It doesn't launch until April but I thought I'd give you a sneak preview. Now if you're like me and you put your foundation on the car on the way to work or out to a meeting, you right. want something easy and I love the way the sponge curves to the face. It gives an instant beautiful look to your makeup, a bit like you've got a filter on. It's really luminous <sighs> and beautiful. Sounds but brilliant. But again, as I was talking, long lasting. So it gives you a good 10, 8 hours wear, 8 to 10 hours wear okay. without having to touch it up. Right, let's whiz through these next um, ones. L'Oreal Infallible, you know, this is a great brand. Again, 24 hours wear this offers you if you're going to need to wear your foundation for 24 hours. I don't know anyone that does wear it that long, but this is really great because it's not um, too shiny. It, that's probably not the right shade on your hand. No, but, I'm just colouring everything but in. But it lasts again, it's beautiful. Um, this is the Max Factor Healthy Skin Harmony Foundation. It's like a tinted moisturiser, it's long lasting, it's got colour pigments to blend with any uneven complexion. In fact, Max Factor's been clever. They've really targeted this at a 30 plus woman. They want women to feel confident wearing foundations. Great. So um, another favourite of mine, Bobbi Brown. Weightless, long wearing. Great SPF, that's the other thing. Look for mm. an SPF in your foundation because it really does help protect Very your skin. Very important. Um, and I just bought a couple of fun products that have arrived on my desk this week. And this is the Max 
uh, the MAC uh, Fix, Prime and Fix, you can spritz your skin after foundation. A lot of people don't know that. Just oh. to give it a refresh if you're feeling that it's looking a little bit dull. And what's this one? And this is a great primer from Smashbox from the Photo Finish range. Um, it's brilliant for knocking back any shine. Oh, that's me. Fantastic for open pores because we don't want to cover our skin in powder as we get older. We no. want to use something that gets rid of that shine and open pores and then just use a little bit of foundation on that top. That sounds like a bit of me. I'm very, very shiny. Hey, that's great. Thank you. I love coming, you coming pleasure. in and I get to play with all the new products. Oh, Thank yay. you so much. Absolute pleasure. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.